At the time of recording, Tennessee currently has a top 10 recruiting class, which is highlighted by five-star wide receiver Mike Matthews and four-star quarterback Jake Merklinger, who are both Georgia natives. Merklinger has put together a storied high school career heading into his senior year with a 29-9 record as a starter while throwing for 6,607 yards, 75 touchdowns, and only 22 interceptions. He has also rushed for 20 touchdowns on the ground as well. Merklinger has all the tools to be a special player at the next level, so let's talk about that. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. I'm planning to release a video every day for the month of August. Also, comment who you want me to cover in future videos and your top five quarterback prospect rankings for the 2024 recruiting cycle in the comment section below. Jake Merklinger is from Savannah, Georgia, and currently attends Calvary Day School. Throughout his youth, he starred in football, basketball, baseball, and lacrosse. His brother Ryan currently plays tackle at Western Illinois after starting his college career at Valpo. Jake took over the starting quarterback job at Calvary Day his freshman year and quickly became a leader of his team. Head coach Mark Stroud told Savannah Morning News, Jake has that natural athleticism, but he also has all the intangibles that make for a great player and person. He has humility. He never puts himself on a pedestal and he puts his teammates first. He has great genetics, but he also has the work ethic to consistently improve. He's a tough competitor and a great leader. Wide receiver Caden Arnold has known Jake since they were in middle school and spoke highly of his teammates saying, Jake is a great friend because he always puts others first. Even now, he's trying to help me get recruited. He's so athletic and has the accurate arm, but I think an underrated part of his game is his running ability. He could beat you in a lot of different ways. As a freshman, Jake threw for 2,107 yards, 18 touchdowns and 12 interceptions, while also rushing for five touchdowns on the ground. As a sophomore, he threw for 2,513 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions, while also rushing for 11 touchdowns on the ground. He finished the season completing over 70% of his passes and was named Regional 3A Private Offensive Player of the Year. Calvary Day made it to the quarterfinals of the state playoffs as well. That same year, he helped Calvary Day win a regional title in basketball. As a junior, he threw for 1,987 yards, 32 touchdowns, and only 2 interceptions, while also rushing for 4 touchdowns on the ground. He led Calvary Day to the quarterfinals of the state playoffs while being named Offensive Player of the Year by the Savannah Quarterback Club and earned Georgia Regional 3 AAA Player of the Year honors. On the basketball court, he averaged 9.6 points per game, 6.3 rebounds per game, and 2.3 steals per game. He has big goals this upcoming season for his team, so he chose to commit to a school before his senior year, which I will talk about in a second. He told the Savannah Morning News, We want to win a state championship. I'm not afraid to say it. We have a lot of talent coming back and we want to win that state title. Stroud is excited to have his young quarterback for a fourth season, telling his fellow coaches and friends how strange it is to have a starter for four years. We were saying he does get to come back and play for us again this fall. We're blessed to have another year coaching Jake and we're totally looking forward to it. Jake will be throwing to four-star South Carolina commit tight end Michael Smith, as well as a few other talented wide receivers he hopes to help get recruited. As of the time of recording, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Jake Merklinger is a four-star recruit who is the seventh best quarterback and 97th best player in the 2024 recruiting cycle. He received over 28 different Division I offers from likes of Auburn, Florida, Georgia, Michigan State, and Tennessee. He narrowed his college choices down to Georgia, Michigan State, North Carolina, and Tennessee, ultimately choosing to commit to the Volunteers. He chose Tennessee because he was excited to play for a coach like Josh Heupel, who was the Heisman Trophy runner-up as a quarterback at Oklahoma in 2000, and offensive coordinator quarterback coach Joey Housel, who was a star quarterback in his playing days at Oklahoma. He told Savannah Morning News to play for those two guys, who played quarterback at a very, very high level meant a lot to me. And being from the South, to be able to play for an SEC program in front of 100,000 fans every Saturday, I'm excited for it. He plans to enroll early at Tennessee, although he is a star basketball and lacrosse player, so he could participate in spring practice. He spoke on the toughest part of the process, saying, The hardest part of the recruiting process was the calls I had to make last night to tell the other schools I wouldn't be going there. That was difficult. You build up such a great relationship with these guys like at Michigan State. I've been talking with them for two and a half years, so that was hard. But today I'm excited to be a volunteer. Merklinger stands at 6'3 and weighs 190 pounds. Evan Crowell from Sports Illustrated's Volunteer Country writes, Merklinger is prone to big plays. His high school offense ran a lot of twin sets, letting him work frontside concepts into backside reads, depending on what the defense gave him. It's a natural transition into Tennessee's offense. They want quarterbacks with long frames to stand in and deliver throws outside the numbers. The fit is uncanny. 
Merklinger and Hooker look identical standing in the pocket and operate through their process. They trust their offensive linemen to allow time, which can work well behind strong units up front. Merklinger usually likes to make throws from the pocket, but that does not mean he is a statue by any means. He has the athletic ability to pick up yards on the ground if need be. Merklinger goes into his senior year with a record of 29-9 as a starter and has made almost 700 pass attempts, completing about 68% of them. Andrew Ivins from 24-7 Sports writes, Overall should be viewed as someone that could eventually win games on Saturdays. We'll need to keep progressing and likely need some time to find his bearings at the college of his choice, but frame, solid testing numbers, and sound decision-making process are traits all worth nurturing for a long haul. He will be competing with former five-star recruit Nico Ima Maleva for the starting quarterback job for years to come and could have a bright future down the road. What do you think? How good will Jake Merklinger be in college? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.